breaking. This is the headlines for today. We've got bank account details of those sponsoring violence in Himu. We've got bank account details of those sponsoring violence in Himu. Uzo Dima says to my dear listeners, from wherever, from wherever you're listening from, that's our headlines for today. Stay tuned as I read today's news. Himo State Governor Hope Uzodima has said that his government has got the bank account details of those sponsoring violence in the state. There have been repeated killings and arson in the state with the death including those of monarchs. While some have feared the violence could be hyperlinked, others suspect the political battles the government is waging with its predecessors. Hyperb has, however, dissociated itself from killings, just as former governor Rochas Okorocha has said that he is for peace. But speaking at the weekend, Uzodima promises to release the names of those involved in January. He said, all the people that were hired to kill our people, we have started picking all of them. As of now, we have picked 18 suspects. Some of them have confessed those who are paying them. We have gotten the bank account from where they have been transferring money to them and we have the evidence. When I will address emo stakeholders on January 30, I will call their names one by one. Emo State Governor Op Uzodima has said that his government has got the bank account details of those sponsoring violence in the state. There have been repeated killings and arson in the state with the deaths including those of monarchs. While some have feared the violence could be hypoped linked, others suspect the political battles the government is waging with its predecessors. IPOB has, however, dissociated itself from killings, just as former governor Rochas Okorocha has said that he is far he is for peace. But speaking at the weekend, Uzodima promised to release the names of those involved in January. He said all the people that were hired to kill our people. We have started picking all of them as of now. We have picked 18 suspects. Some of them have confessed those who are paying them. We've gotten the bank account from where they have been transferring money to them and we have the evidence. When I will address Imo stakeholders on January 30, I will call their names one by one. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of um, of our today's news. And then, um, in my own view about today's news, I feel with the way things is going, Imo State would never, would never wake up from its slumber. One of the states that is affecting the Nigeria presently. One, let me start, let me start by... Um, from where he said they have gotten the bank account details of those that are sponsoring the violence. And they've gotten the name of those people who are sponsoring them. I want to be very sure they are people who are at the um, higher post and who are they, are they are they are one of those people that are directing the administrating this country. That's the one of the reasons why they have refused to mention their name. One of the issues we are having in this country. Why will the governor uh, well would the governor postpone the name to next year January twenty two, so as for us to forget about the names? Now he postponed the names till January thirty. Is it trying to keep its own state safe, or is trying to endanger its um its state? When these people, if truly this, if 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 I uh, we don't know how true is this, and I want to believe it is true. Then if it is true, these people that their name is on the list already, some of them would have known that their name has been held. If we don't know how true is it. And um, when these people know that their name is on their list already, once they threatened the um the governor that if they if if he dares try to um if he dares try to release their name out publicly, they would do many things. Once they still try and this and cause many atrocities in the state. Won't those people just try and start threatening the state, st- start killing, start kidnapping, so as for the governor 
not to release their names and to release those that are in detention already is this not a very cunning is this not a very cunning um staged whereby these people in detention they didn't release they didn't release the pictures of those they apprehended already they didn't release the name of those that are sponsoring them so how sure are we that very soon that this will not be cancelled we are still in this case we are still in this nation whereby we are not free we are not free from what is going on we are not free from um, insecurity we are not free from kidnappings we are not free from all the atrocities that is going on presently in the state as a governor i expect of you as a chief security officer of the state there should not be any in fact there should not be killings even if there is any it shouldn't be more rapid than of this that is going on in your state presently I must say, this governor is not competent and I feel there is more to it, if not that they are using him. Because why would you be in a state whereby a lot of killings? Recently, they just kidnapped two monarchs and one of them were being killed. And another guy was killed alongside. How, how are we sure that other people are safe? Is it because they are? I'm pretty sure. This man's families, all his families are not around. If they are if they are around, they would have kidnapped many of his families. How long do we need to keep this home? We need to keep abiding with all this kind of inhumane acts that is going on. They do not have the interest of those people in mind. That is the reason why things like this is happening to them. All these bad evil people, all these evil perpetrators that are, that keeps threatening them with all this kind of acts. How long will they continue to tolerate all this kind of inhumane act? How long will they continue to keep to keep tolerating the kind of killings, destroying of properties? Most times, most times, even security agencies who are meant to protect their life goes to goes to their village, invade them, destroy their property because of one unreasonable reasons or the other. How long do, do they need to, to keep tolerating about to keep tolerating that? It is unfair. The government should do something to it. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop out the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.